Hello students and welcome to e Shala. Today we are going to deal with a short story that is The Lost Child written by Mulk Raj Anand. So the objectives of this lesson will be we will be learning the summary of the story. We will be doing a critical analysis of the central theme and characters. We will discuss the setting and we will analyze the language of Mulk Raj Anand. So, Let's get started. Now let us know something about Mulkaraj Anand. Mulkaraj Anand is one of the pioneers of Indo-Anglo fiction accompanying Raja Rao, R.K. Narayan and Ahmad Ali. The one piece of work that has designated him a position among the internationals is Untouchables. He is also one of those renowned names to incorporate Punjabi and Hindustani idioms into English. Through his language, we can smell the aroma of Indian fields and his stories portray the picture of rural India and its traditions. Some of his famous works are Untouchables, the trilogy which includes the village and the sword and the sickle, Kuli and Across the Black Waters. Now coming to that of The Lost Child. The Lost Child is the story of a little boy who has come out of the four walls of his house and meets the enchanting world of the fair. He gets bewildered by the color and pomp of the outside. Unable to resist the temptation, the child stops at every stall such as to have a bite of his favorite burfi from the sweet meat seller or to have a flower and a balloon which appeared completely irresistible to him. Then his eyes fall on the snake charmers who with the flute is controlling the dangerous reptile and he is utterly amazed to see the sight. Lastly, when he comes in front of a roundabout, he couldn't control his temptations anymore and turned towards his parents again, pleading for just one. But to his utter despair, he finds out that he is no more with his parents. That means he is lost. He is lost in distractions. Now, the child runs all over hunting for his parents. Tears trickle down his eyes and like a helpless, he was searching for the familiar faces amongst the puzzling crowd. Amidst the merrymaking, there was hardly anyone to listen to his sobbing. Then comes a sympathetic stranger. A stranger, just to console that little child, offers him all the alluring things that he wanted, that he ever wished for and he wanted so badly. But to our surprise, he didn't even bother to look at them. Even, even he just, he just, he just, you know, searched for his parents. His very eyes searched for his parents. That is, that, that, that were the most valued gifts. He now inferences. Did you find any underlying meaning in this? Let's get to the surface level understanding. The child, the incident, the surrounding is very real representation of any rural Indian village. Now, if Mulkaraj Anand is writing a short story like this, it will not just be a mere touching plot. It has to have some deep meaning hiding inside. So, if we delve deep, we will be able to observe the different interpretations that can be made. Of course, the child is a very real character who is like any other child that we meet in our daily, daily lives. The vivid picture of a rural setting during the spring along with the fair has been expressed with a lot of colors and images like the yellow mustard fields, bright colored rabbits, etc. The din and bustle of the fair and the typical behavior of the child makes the story very relevant and real. But if we read carefully, we will be able to find each one of us in that lost child. That means the child represents us. And the fair, what does it represent? Well, of course, the fair symbolizes the world outside. We as human beings are prone to fall for greed and it becomes too tough for us to resist all the temptations, be that our favorite pepperoni pizza or a designer lehenga whatever it is. 
the outside world the materials amazes us they appeal to our senses like the sweet barfi the amazing toys and so much more that we get we get confounded or confused and in that very bewilderment we lose the very best thing we have now if the child represents us what the, what do the parents represent the parents can be compared to nature or god the lost child represents human being who have lost the touch of nature yes of course the lost child represents human beings who have lost the touch of nature we are more prone to the unnatural and towards the things having a lot of color and pomp and show we somehow leave out the originality and start falling for the false pleasures that are ephemeral the plot here is the protagonist it is a story which stays in the limelight as the child can be any and every other child in the world and the father and mother represents every parent the symbolic meaning of the story is what anand wants us to observe and understand the story overall appeals to our senses our senses means the visual sense in the visual sense we get bright colored rabbits a flowering mustard field golden mustard mustard fields which is which is like a melting gold and then we have the ocean of silver light holding of pale holding of pale with yellow red green and purple balloons flying from it all factory that is the smell we smell the sweet perfume from the hearts of flowers the sweet perfume of their pollen mingled with soft cool breeze the implacable sweetness of the scents that came floating on the wings of the languid air now the oral or the auditory high pitched sequence of whistling creaking squeaking roaring humming noises all the din and bustle of the fair is what we can hear which is what we can listen the gentle rippling of a miniature waterfall the wind and the strange sound of shiva's mad laughter the language used you must have noticed that the following indian words are used by anand jamun neem champak gulmohar koel gulab jamun jalebi barfi etc through his language we can really smell the aroma of indian fields and its stories portray the picture of rural india and its tradition so we can say that the language anand uses certainly has an indian essence and taste imbibed within it so that was all for today's video if you have any queries regarding this lesson or any lesson that you would like us to upload do not forget to mention that in the comment box below and do not forget to subscribe our channel like comment and share this video with the ones who really need it for dedicated online english classes reach out to, uh, reach out to us at this phone number on the screen or you can drop a mail at the following email id that's all thank you so much goodbye